Yo, what's up, everybody? How's it going? So, today we're going to solve the, the, the one of the coolest question, which is two sums. So, this question has been asked a lots of time. Believe me, a lots of time. If you will see the like ratio and the dislike ratio, like, and and you know, like, if you look at the question, uh, like, how many times it, it has been asked in the companies. Uh, let me just show it to you. Boom. Amazon 111 times. Adobe 42. Google 37. Apple 31, like all the big tech companies, they just they they just asking this question. So why we why we gonna miss this? So yeah, let's let's just do it. So this is the uh, one of the coolest question I'm saying. This is like this is the number one top one question like in the lead code which has the most of the frequency like uh, in this question. Like the ask question company frequency is one of the most, and this question is pretty even easy as well. It's not too hard so uh, we are just gonna solve this question like a uh, uh, first of all we I, I will just show you the brute force which you have to show to the interviewer like like you, you just don't go to the first of all optimal solution because if you directly move to the optimal one then the interval thing like dude he already know how to solve this but like you have to be like yeah I don't know so like I'm just trying all right so first of all brute force then we will uh, gonna solve this using hash map all right guys so let's just move to the question first so what we are going to do Okay, so what the question is saying, uh, given an array of integer nums and an integer target, okay? So like we we, we have a uh, array and we have a target. So target is like, like for example, like we have a sum of a two uh, in, uh, in integer, okay? So we have to written indices of the two numbers such as add up to targets, okay? So what we have to written like, for example, like if you look at this one, so we have two, seven, 11, 15 over here. And our target is nine, all right guys? So what we have to do, we have to return the indices like so it, it appears as 0, 1, 2, 3. So these are the index. So uh, 2 plus 7 will give us 9. So we have to return 0, 1 like this. And one more thing guys, like this question is like, uh, is like the array is non sorted. So like if it is sorted, then we can use two pointer even as well to solve this question. But like the array is not sorted. So we will use a uh, hash map for that, for a, a, like good time complexity, good space memory as well sorry guys so let's get started okay so i hope the question is clear to you guys what they are saying so we have to just return the target so how are we going to do this question so first of all we just simply use the bruce was uh, bruce was attack so i will just create one loop so int i equals to zero int i less than mm, i will i will tell you like what i'm doing in my brute force even as well just just wait just first of all watch the code okay norms dot length I plus plus all right guys now I will run for int i equals to uh, j from i plus one why I'm doing this I will just I will just tell you right now j less than nums dot then j plus plus all right guys so what we are doing is uh, let me just show it to you okay so we have this array 2 7 11 15 so what I'm doing I put my one i index over here and one my j index over here okay now what i will do i will uh i will simply ch check for like i will uh, put my i over here and i will go for the j first okay so once the j complete the loop then i will increase the i then i will again go for the j once the i again uh, do it then i i will do it like that similarly so like let's just say like uh, we don't have seven over here let's say i have 11 over here okay just take an example okay so let's just it is it uh, this one as well uh, okay so yeah this is good so like I say I have 11 over here now 15 and I have my 7 in the end okay just take an example so I will see so what I will do my target is 9 my target is 9 so what I will do I will simply subtract my in I from the target so I will get my remainder uh, remaining is 7 so my remaining is 7 sorry about that remaining is 7 so I will check like do this array has 7 to get get the sum make it 9 so it will check uh, j is 11 no 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 uh, 11 is greater than 7 so we just move it so j will come over here okay now it will again check is j uh, is this is se equal to 7 no no it's again greater now it will come over it will check is it 7 yes it is 7 like for example what happened like we did not have what we want like we did not have 7 over here okay so what i will do i will just simply move the i and the j will come over here again okay so how this how we will uh, solve this using Bruce force 
Okay, so the brute force is quite simple now. I now now you understand what, what I will do. I will just simply check if uh, I will make an if condition if my uh, let's say nums of j is equals to target minus nums of i. Okay, if is that then I will return my indices. I will return new creating uh, putting in the array. Okay, and I will simply put i comma j. And like in the end, I have to return something over here as well. So I will uh, just simply return null. All right. So let me just give a quick run. And here we go. Let me just submit it. All right. So we done it. So guys, you see that time complexity is too much, and the space co complexity is quite good. Not too bad. So guys, what happening over here? If you look at over here, we are using two for loop. So we are nesting it. So the time, like you know, what is doing? The first i is searching for the array. Then j is again searching for the array. So like they are both searching again and again. So this this is creating too much time complexity. The time complexity is of any square in this one brute force attack. But the space complexity, space we, we are not using any space memory. So the space complexity is a simply a big of one. Alright guys. So. Mm -hmm. So now you are saying, saying like, dude, can we make it like a simple like off and linear one? I, I said like, yeah, we can do it. So for that, we will use the hash map. So like using hash map, what will happen? I don't have to go and search for the array for like the number seven. I don't have to go and search every single uh, digit like is seven is present, is seven is present. What, what I will do, I will just simply check their indices. If it is available, then I will simply print the indices. All right, that's how we are gonna do. So what I will do, I will create one hash map over here first of all let's say hash map and uh, one here i will is i'm giving integer so this integer will keep my values and this integer will will have my indices okay and i will like say i will put in the map new hash map all right guys all right so now what i will do i will put these items into my hash map this nums i will uh, array i will put into my hash map for that i will do what i will do i will just simply run a uh, for loop uh, int i equals to zero i less than nums dot length i plus plus now i will use the map dot put function to put everything over here so i will simply put nums of i because i is my value now i have to put indices so just simple i okay so now we just did it so we just put simply put like we just we just fill our hash map so let me just comment it uh, li like this so we just fill our hash map okay now what we, what we have to do i have to search for my values in that hash map okay so like we have a target nine so i have to find my values which make my target okay so let me say like uh, uh, searching in hash map all right guys Simpl similarly i will first of all run a for loop from i to zero i less than num dot length i plus plus okay guys now uh my mistake now what i will do i will first of all like uh, i like for for the simplicity i will create one num where my i i index like my 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 first index value will be uh, will be represented so i will say int num equals to nums i why why i i do it like just to make it as simple as that so like let's say like we have two over here okay we have two over here now i will create one remaining so what's the remaining so my remaining will be nine minus two seven so i have to i will go for the seven so i will create remaining equals to target minus num so this will be uh this will be nine minus two seven so it is seven okay so i'm looking for seven now so we want seven okay so like i will say we want seven okay now guys what i will do i will uh simply go for my seventh value now like i will just say like if if my map if my map uh, remaining has seven then we will do something if map dot contains key remaining then what i will do i will just simply say okay guys so uh what i will do i will check my index something like i have to check my 
and uh, like my seven so i will check using map.get so i will say like if it is over there then like it is pointed out so how, how it will happen so i will say like in index equals to map dot get remainder okay so from here i will get my value now guys i will just simply return it new int uh i comma index okay guys and finally return my empty empty array if we if we did not find then we simply return the empty array okay all right guys one thing to look over here for example like if i'm saying like i'm looking for the value let's say i'm looking for uh six okay so i'm looking for six what happened like there is nothing in this one which can sum up to six okay so like you know you guys have you think like what happened like if it will check for itself and it will sum itself for three times to make it six two plus two plus two equals six no but we don't want this thing because the constant question i mentioned like like uh we we have to choose the different number we have to choose the different number. we can't use the one element to uh, get get our result okay so how for that what i will do i will simply simply uh, say over here i will simply say if index equals to i then just continue it just continue it all right guys and we all done uh, let me just get it soon okay so let, let me just run it let's see any compilation we are good to go all right let's just submit it and here we go so guys the, the in this question the time complexity is just off and and our space complexity is off and as well why is because like we are we are using uh because hash map use space and you know the time complexity is on because we are just we are just searching one time okay so that's why so i hope this question is clear to you guys if you have any still problem then do just let me know in the comment section i will definitely reach to you guys till then uh take a take care and i will see you in the next one and if you have not subscribed or like if you don't like this video then if you understand and you love this video then just do hit a like button only if otherwise you can leave it or like just leave the leave your reviews in your comment section i will see you in the next one till then take care bye bye and i love you guys